Hi guys, Gail here. We have left Cochin, India and have traveled over 2,500 miles to our next destination, Mauritius, East Africa. So if you've never heard of Mauritius and you Google it, you'll find pictures like this. Beautiful beaches, five-star resorts, and some Viking members did fly there early and enjoy this. However, for us, we took the boat and took our time. And when we got there, our story was very different. Hi guys, Juan and Gail here. Good morning. We are in Mauritius and Juan has a weather prediction. I think it's gonna rain. I think he's right. It's about 99.9%. I think it's about 100%. So you take a look and see what you think. I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but it's steady drizzling. Yeah. We have a catamaran experience today, but basically on the on the water all day and on the beach. So I'm hoping it's going to clear up. Yeah. Um, they've had some pretty pretty days recently. But they also dodged a recent cyclone. Cyclone. Madagascar. Uh, Madagascar. Yeah, that's where. Uh, and unfortunately, it was really bad for them. They had like I, I know of at least 11 deaths and stuff. So really parts heavy for Madagascar. And for some reason they call it cyclone in this, this part of the world. Yeah. We call yeah. it hurricane back home, but same yeah. thing. So Juan's question did have me wondering. So there's your answer. If it's more than 74 miles, it is a hurricane typhoon or tropical cyclone. It's gonna be a great day in Mauritius. Am I right? Okay, so we get to our our destination for our catamaran has been canceled. Yeah, they Which have is, a lot of winds, a lot of rains, not suitable conditions to be out there anyway. So, 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 plan B. So, we're going to head out to a, a bus, a bus tour around Russia head today. Towards around the island. It's gonna be a great day. Am I right? do like about these trips is this is a way that you can really see the real city so this will be the real Mauritius today so they started us off it was supposed to be this volcano however it's very windy and the only real sight I could find was Juan playing around on the gym equipment I can't supposedly if you look at here it's a huge crater but I just can't I can't even see where is the crater Definitely turning out to be a little different day. That's gonna get better. I can feel it. Okay, next stop, we're gonna go to where they make boats. So that's pretty exciting, right? Or seeing how they make boats. And I did notice that that building looked a little small for making boats, but let's check it out. Okay, okay. That's not quite what I had in mind, but they didn't lie. They are making boats and they are pretty cool. So this is a big thing in Mauritius that I didn't realize. They've been making these model ships since about 1969. And to be honest, if I would have had room in my luggage, I think one of these boats would have made it home with me. Am I right? All right, guys, we have moved on to the Grand Basin, which hosts the world's tallest Durga monument at 108 feet tall. This place is really cool because not only does it have this, but right across the street is a 108 foot statue of Shiva. You know, it really is big. Like, I'm right underneath it. So this is the second tallest Shiva monument. The first one being in India. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
You see the fish in here? They're just hanging out. And these are usually just, I guess, stairs, right? So we did go into the temple. The rules for this temple were just no shoes. So no problem. And I want to give you yet another sense of smell. So imagine just a bunch of different types of incense being burned. It had the most pleasant aroma. So we're on our way to our last stop, which is rum tasting. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you just fields and fields of, this is tea bushes. And then also there's just as much sugar cane. So these are two big of their, two big exports that they have. And then just like in any other city that we go to, I just love sitting back and just looking out the window and checking out all these options of how people live and their homes and their and their shops. Just a very cool way to see how everybody does this life just a little bit differently. Okay, so we have closer. This is nice. So here we are. So this is the first place that I really got that resort vibe that I had heard so much about. This place was really beautiful. They took some time and showed us how they make their rum. And then of course we got a chance to taste it. Am I right? So as we're driving back to the ship, we pass this area here where they actually make salt. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm really glad that sometimes our plans don't go the way we think that they're going to go. It's a great day in Mauritius. Am I right? 